Today we are going to discuss exiting a student from Go IEP. We are currently on the timelines page for a student. In reviewing the timelines page, you see that the student has active links to start an annual review and to start a redetermination. At the very bottom of the timelines page is a section that says exit student. There are several options that can be used to exit a student from GLIEP. Three options permanently exit a student from GLIEP and they cannot be put back into the program. The first option is deceased. The second option is graduated with a regular ed diploma. The third option is that the student has reached the maximum age. If a student is exited with any of those options, they will not be available to be put back into GLIEP. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the exit reason of withdrawn to another public school. My exit date is going to be February 10th. Then I will select the blue link that says exit student. I will get a message that says the student will no longer be an active special education student in this school system. Do you wish to continue? Please read all messages that open on your screen to determine if you want to take the next step. I am going to select yes because I do want to exit this student. Now that I have selected to exit the student, her exit reason is shown at the bottom, withdrawn to another school, and the exit date is recorded as February 10th, 2014. Also, the links that were previously available to begin an annual review or to begin a reevaluation are no longer available. We are now on the timelines page of another student. By viewing this student's links, we see that the student has an initial eligibility that is in process. I am going to exit this student. I'm going to select that the student was withdrawn to another public school with an exit date of January 20th. And I will click the blue link that says exit student. I got a message that tells me that this student has some open meetings. These open meetings occurred in the past. They occurred prior to the exit date. The message says, the following meetings are in process, so GoIP cannot exit the student. System administrators should communicate with case managers to determine if meetings were held in the past and the meetings were left open. If this meeting actually occurred, the system administrator needs to advise the case manager to finish the documents and finalize them. If the meeting did not occur, then the system administrator can close the meeting. For further details on how to close meetings, please view the closed meeting video. Also, during the exit process, GoIP will look to see if there are future meetings that are open, as well as progress reports that are incomplete. It is important that all meeting notices are closed out and that all progress reports are completed before students are exited. The system will not allow students to be exited with open documents. Now that all meeting notices have been closed, I will exit this student. My exit reason is withdrawn to another public school. The date of withdrawal is January 20th. The comment box is available but is not required. It is recommended that the comment box is used to share pertinent information to other GoIEP districts where the student may enroll in the future. Now I will select the link that says exit student. And I got the same message that we got previously, which says, am I sure that I want to exit the student? And my answer is yes. I will select yes and click the submit button. Now you will see that it no longer says that my initial eligibility is in process. I do not have a link for an IEP or redetermination and the exit date is recorded at the bottom with a reason of withdrawal to another public school. By clicking on the caseload link, a teacher can find a list of all exited students at the bottom of the caseload link. This student is the student that was exited and she is shown as exited 
with a withdrawn to another public school exit reason. We are now in the timelines page of another student, and I'm going to exit this student using a different exit reason. For this student, I'm going to use the exit reason of revocation of parental consent. Please remember that students that have been exited due to dismissal to regular ed, revocation of parental consent, or they have withdrawn and returned to your district will be available to search in SODS to be put back into Go IEP. Now that I've selected with revocation of consent, I'm going to put my exit date and select the exit student button. I got a different message this time. Based on my exit date, I have an open meeting with a future date. This means that the date of the meeting is after the date that I have indicated that the student has left the district. Therefore, I can cancel the meeting on the timelines page. I do not have to return to the meetings tab to cancel this meeting. So I'm going to select the blue link that says cancel meeting. I got a green message that said that the future meeting was successfully canceled and I am going to close this box. Now I am able to exit the student and I've gotten my same message that asks me if I'm sure I want to continue. I will select yes as my option and submit. Now that I have submitted that, my student is shown with a revocation of parental consent exit reason with a date of 8-15-2013. There are no links available for me to make any modifications to his profile. If this student was to return or the parent was to change their mind, he would be available in SODS to be put back into the GoIP system as a new referral. This completes our discussion of exiting students from GoIP. Thank you.